ask him. He bends his ear down, the Bible says, to us. And we need to be specific. And just like the desire of our hearts that he says that he will give us, seek him, he will give us the desires of your heart, like with your mom and everything. I truly believe that. And look how he took that. Another thing about studying in Peter that I, I just love too is just the suffering and what he does in us through that. The suffering, here you were at home, you were sick, and you had no choice but to be quiet and be still, right? Be still and know that I am God, as he says. And through that, isn't that amazing? Through that, he spoke to you. Right. So, I mean, he really spoke to me. And, you know, when the first time it came, and I just kind of dismissed it. Mm. And then again, and then it came again for the third time. And, and by, the, by the second time it came, I was like, Lord, are you talking, really, Lord, are you talking to me? Like, are you serious? Are you talking to me? I was like, mm, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. And then when it came the third time, I was like, oh, no. That's his voice. Mm. And, and what he says is, my sheep know me yeah. and they hear me. my voice. And I was his sheep. Yeah. And I knew that he was speaking to me and I knew he was telling me to move forward move forward with what you asked me Regina, mm. because I'm giving even though it didn't look like the ideal situation at the time it totally worked out because I heard him heard his his voice and you know by me having a relationship with him a true relationship mm-hmm. with the Lord is the reason why I was able to recognize and to hear that he was giving me what I asked for. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so in love with that because had it not for me being uncomfortable and being mm. sick and had to have surgery, Paulette, then I would have never asked. Yeah. I saw something one time where, um, you know, just know if you're uncomfortable, you know, the Lord's doing something in you, you know, right. pushing us outside our comfort zone. Um, because that's where we have to lean on him and have to trust him. Thanks for joining, James. Right. We have to in that pos- place where we're at when it's getting real tough and getting real hard. And, you know, it's kind of funny, Regina, too. When, well, not funny, but interesting how when people, even though they say they're not a believer, I don't know if you ever had this happen, but when someone gets sick in their family or someone passes away or they lose, they say, oh, Regina, can you can you pray for me? Right. Right. Because they know because that is how God designed us anyway. We're all are that looking to him. And when we don't have him in us, then we're seeking him because that's how he created us. Right. Mm-hmm. But when we truly listen to him and in that place that we need to trust him, that's when he does a work. Right. 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 So, you know, it's just it's just um, amazing, you know, because had I not been put in that uncomfortable position. Wow. I would have never, I would have never really asked. I would have just kept saying, oh, I, I wish I could. I wish I could. I, you know, I wouldn't, mm-hmm. you know, I would have never stepped out on faith. Yeah. Never. I know me. I would have never stepped out on faith because for me, I always played it safe. Mm-hmm. I always played it safe because safe is safe. But I, I've, I've learned that, you know, you have to accept challenges. You have to take risks. And if it doesn't work out, then you just got to go back and revamp the plan. You got to step it's out of the boat. You got to step out of the boat, Jesus says, boat. and That's look right. to him. Don't look down at the what Like your, your tour that you did, the leap, don't look. Talk about that. That was so amazing, guys. I went to this event that she did. Beautiful, just top notch. It was just so impactful, Regina, and just beautiful. All the people that you had there, really, really blessed by that. And um, that's it. Leap, don't look, because we got to have faith and, and, and trust. So um, tell, let's see, what, what would you like, if you could give our listeners something about leap, don't look, and that kind of mindset, what would it be? Leap, don't look, the mindset of leap, don't look is, you know, never know how great something can be until you go for it. You know, we all know where we've been. We all know our past. We know the challenges that we've gone through. We know the mm. struggles that we've gone through. But in order to get a different result, to get something greater, you've got to try something different. You know, maybe you always go to the restaurant and you have the steak medium rare with the baked potatoes. But the menu, there's a wealth of good things on the menu. If you never choose anything 
else from the menu, you never really know how great the restaurant is. Mm -hmm. You only know that the is good for that steak. Mm -hmm. There are 50 other things on the menu. Try something different. Right. If you don't like it, when you come back, you don't have to order it again. <laughs> That's how I take it. Don't look. That's You've so got good. to step and, and believe in you first and foremost. You've got to believe in you first and foremost. You've got to try it. If it doesn't work, go back and revamp the plan. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It means that it doesn't work that way. But you've got to step forward. Mm -hmm. I lost you. You just froze up, girl. Well, while she's, till she comes back, she said a word there, greater. And that was a song by Mercy Me, Greater, for those of you that didn't catch that. And greater is he that is in us. You guys, whenever you're discouraged or wondering how you're going to make it, how am I going to do this? How am I? Get out of the, how am I? Because it isn't through us. It's not by my, but by his spirit. And that is the only way we're going to do things is by his spirit, not by our strength. Because I don't know about you, but I've let myself down a couple of times. I don't know about you, but I can't do things in my strength. And that's where God meets us. He meets us right there. I don't know where Regina went, but I'll keep talking. Okay, come back, girl, because I guess I'm supposed to talk because you're frozen. But that is where God meets us, where we get out of our own way and trust in the Lord and trust in him and what he's doing. Because when we are broken, then that's when we need to Jesus glue to fix us. Because if we're not broken and we got that chip on our shoulder that our ego's in the way. And do you guys know what ego stands for? Edging God out. We don't want to edge God out. We need more of Jesus because we just need more of Jesus in everything we do. I can't hear you, Regina. I don't know what happened. Um, send me a thing again that says invite you in and I'll, I'll do that. But that's what we need, guys. We need to get out of our own way and we need to focus on Jesus. And if you can't, not that you can't do that, but at least focus on someone else. That's what starts. And that's in my um, new book called How to Love Others and Why We're Better Because of It uh, that God brought to me is getting the focus off ourself, putting it under someone else because that's where the beauty happens because that's what Jesus, right? That's what he did. And he, you know, guys, I love this about Jesus. I don't have time left. Is that he's been through all the stuff we have been through. This is so beautiful. Guys, think about Jesus. If you ever think, oh, I'm alone. Don't let that enemy tell you lies about that I'm alone and I don't feel this and I'm, I'm by myself. Mm. Jesus felt uh, rejection. Jesus felt temptation. Jesus felt fear. Jesus felt all that. Jesus felt pain. If you're going through physical pain, and God bless you if you are, because my poor mama right now, she is, she broke her rib, cracked her rib this weekend. I called her this morning. She's in a lot of pain. <laughs> anyway, so I don't mean to get emotional, but... You know, Jesus felt that pain. I guess that makes me cry too, because he had the thorns on his head, blood, you know, had people spitting on him. He knows what pain we're in. He can feel the pain, you know, that we're in, all, whatever it is, he feels everything that we do. So he can relate to us. So don't let the enemy think that you're all alone. Don't let think that, you know, that nobody else has felt like I don't have no pity party. Okay. No pity party because Jesus has felt all that we have felt. Right, Regina? Um, hopefully you can come back on here. We'll just wait till you can. But, um, you know, I love that about Jesus is he has felt all that we have felt. So we can't go, gosh, nobody knows or isolation. He felt that, don't you think? In the Garden of Gethsemane or even with his father, he felt, you know, he felt betrayed. He was betrayed by Peter. He's betrayed by Judas. Everything that we feel, he has felt. So know that. But as the song says, yeah, no pity party. No pity party. You know, okay, put up our big girl panties and get going and get moving. And I saw this thing that I love. It says, don't look back because guess what? We aren't going there. Don't look back. Jesus says, look ahead and keep my eyes, your eyes focused on me. And I always love this when I was going through so much that's in my book, Hanging by a God Thread, when that was all that I had, is that when we keep our eyes up to him, then he can take care of all the stuff down here that we're not supposed to control anyway. So you guys, the next time you have a hard time and wondering what to do or how you're going to handle it, just look up. Can we just look up? Let's just say hashtag look up. Somebody say that. 
hashtag look up because that's where we need to look. We need to not look at ourselves. We need to not look at somebody else in the other lane, in the lane they're in. We need to focus like the blinders go, like the horses have. And thanks, Regina. And stay in our lane because don't start to look at that other lane. Don't start to compare yourself. That too is a really bad place to go. You need to just stay in your lane because God has gifted you with gifts that he is using for his, wants to use for his kingdom that only you have. Look at this. I mean, aren't you fingerprints not even the same? Fingerprint out of all these. I mean, think of our creator. Our fingerprint, not one in the whole world. You guys ever think of that? That's a trippy thought. Is there is no fingerprints the same. Well, the same goes for you. There is no same no same composition of you, no same DNA as you. You are specifically made for a purpose for God's kingdom, for the gifts that he has given to you. So, um, Regina, I want you to come back on here. <laughs> I don't know what, um, I know no same prince. Isn't that cool? You guys, I'm so excited, you know, to have Regina on here today. Um, let me see until, uh, we can, we'll put it in the print and where you can go to look, you know, for her, but she has Lil Gina bakes cupcakes with mommy. That is her book. Um, I don't know how to invite sweetie pie. Last time you sent me an invite and I just clicked on it. Um, I'm going to try, let me see. Okay. If I lose you guys, uh, let me see. Just bear with me because this, you know, I am all new at this stuff. Wait, whoa, hold on, don't don't go anywhere. Okay, hold on. I think I did it. I am just getting all out of my comfort zone today. I don't know how to get rid of this thing. Okay, I don't know how to get rid of this. There. Anyway, see, we got to step outside our comfort zone. Today, this is all new to me. Couldn't use the Skype, it wasn't working. And I thought we'd come on here um, and try this. <laughs> Regina, you helped me step outside my comfort zone today, girl. Um... But it's kind of fun. It's a little nerve wracking. But then once you're there and you're over there, you're like, oh, this feels pretty good. You know, hey, Lord, thanks for, you know, having faith in me because God always has faith in us. I invited you, girl. You see where it says invite? I did. I went and I clicked invite. So, um, I don't know. We only have like five minutes, but I'd love for you to says, see where it says invite. I did. I, I There's nothing on my screen, Regina. There's nothing on my screen here. That says invite. So we did it first time. Yeah, it didn't show up. And I went out and clicked the thing and I invited you individually and it didn't. Um, another place that you can get a hold of Regina is you can um, you could go look up just, oh, at uh, Gina underscores, Gina inspires LA on Instagram. She's over there. Um, you can go to uh, www.Gina's Purpose, which I love that. Um, uh, Leap Don't Look. Employed Entrepreneur. That's another book that she has. She's just amazing, guys. You have to go connect with her. I'm bummed we can't get on, but we only had a few minutes left here today. Um, if you can keep trying, Regina, I tried again. Um, at Gina's Purpose on Instagram. Okay, so go to at Gina's Purpose on Instagram and you can connect with her. She's also part of, if I have any authors on here today, any authors that happen to listen to this, you guys need to connect with our, radio, our, our mentor, our authors and business mentor, Desiree Lee. She is phenomenal. She is our, our mentor and she is at D. Lee Inspires, the letter D, and it authors in business. So if you go AIB Nation on Instagram, you can connect with her. If you guys have a book, everybody has a book in their heart. I know it. She will help you publish your book within 48 hours or less and then join our amazing group where we help encourage, inspire um, each other. So little Gina's cupcakes with mommy on Amazon. Thanks, Regina. Put all those in the, in the, uh, in the messages there. Um, and you know, you guys, I want to share this verse. I love this verse. Deuteronomy 31.8. And the Lord, he is the one that goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. That is Deuteronomy 31.8. And I do love that verse because our Lord goes before us. He goes before us when we're going to fly on an airplane. He goes before us when we go to the grocery store. He goes before us when we get in our car. Whatever it is, no that when you're trusting him and you've accepted him in your heart and you are following and obeying him and loving him and um, he is dwelling in you, he goes, don't you want that? Don't you want that? Guys, whoever watches this, it doesn't have or hasn't made that choice. You private message me and let me know. And I would gladly 
gladly help you get there because there is no other hope than we have as Jesus. No other hope. As you see all the things happening in the world today, <laughs> there is no other hope. There is no other hope that we have other than in Jesus. So I am thanking you guys so much for joining us today. Regina, I love you. Sorry the last few minutes. Um, I don't know what happened. But um, I know everybody was blessed by your testimony and what God has done in your life.